What is up yarn friends? It's Morgan with Dream9 Design. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not done so already and you are new here, hit that subscribe button so you get notified when I release new videos. Now let's go talk about some yarn. First off, if you guys haven't been in before, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, today we're going to talk about a few yarn things. I had got a little bit from my local Ben Franklin's because I do have to make a baby blanket. Um, however, I need some help, guys. I got two skeins of this. Beautiful colors. It is a super wash merino wool, 100%. Uh, I got it for $12.99, which I think is a really good deal. Um, it's the 128 super wash from Cascade Yarns. So I did get two different colors. I'm not sure what to make with these yet, but I'm, I'm in love. I saw these two colors. It is a bulky five weight yarn and I'm just in love with this. So if you guys can help me out with pattern ideas, something to make with this, I was, I had a few ideas, but I want to see what you guys come up with. Mine involved a few different granny score things, maybe like a half and half cat hat, you know, two different colors for a cat hat beanie, uh, gloves. I want to do wall tapestry. I had a ton of ideas for this, so I want to know what you guys think. Now, jumping over to the next yarn that I got is just the Red Heart Unforgettable yarn. This I got in the color Dragonfly. Now my customer, um, this is for an order, my customer wanted to have something that was teal and purple for, I'm going to put a picture right here, um, for the, the dragon gloves, I guess they're called. Um, but I think this is going to be really close and I think this is going to come out really pretty. There's tones of like purples, but it's called Dragonfly and it's for, you know, I think the dragon stitch. Uh, or scale stitch or something like that. So I, I think this color is going to come out perfect. I really think my customer is going to like this. So that is another thing of yarn that I got recently at Ben Franklin's. Um, these, not all of this is stuff that I recently, recently got. So like this, I've had for a minute. This is some cotton yarn that I got um, a while back. I want to say at Joann's or Hobby Lobby's, one of the two. But Again, I did have to go yarn shopping. This is new. This is for a customer. And then I did get some skeins of yarns for a baby blanket for somebody as well. Now, now jumping over to the next yarn that I got is just the Red Heart Unforgettable yarn. This I got in the color Dragonfly. Now my customer, um, this is for an order, my customer wanted to have something that was teal and purple for, I'm gonna put a picture right here, um, for the, the dragon gloves, I guess they're called. Um, but I think this is gonna be really close and I think this is gonna come out really pretty. There's tones of like purples, but it's called Dragonfly and it's for, you know, I think the dragon stitch uh, or scale stitch or something like that. So I think this color is going to come out perfect. I really think my customer is going to like this. So that is another thing of yarn that I got recently at Ben Franklin's. Um, these, not all of this is stuff that I recently, recently got. So like this, I've had for a minute. This is some cotton yarn that I got um, a while back. I want to say at Joann's or Hobby Lobby is one of the two. But Again, I did have to go yarn shopping. This is new, this is for a customer, and then I did get some skeins of yarns for a baby blanket for somebody as well. Now, I am really excited. I'm gonna tell you the reason I was able to actually get the baby blanket yarn is because I sold this sweater right here. Now, I made this long sleeve I want to say like last year and I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I kept telling myself, you're not allowed to take it out of inventory because somebody's going to buy it. Um, somebody finally bought it on my Etsy site. So I was able to go yarn shopping to be able to make a nice blanket for my friend. So just wanted to disclaim that. And the reason I say that is I'm just not typically someone who can afford to go and buy a bunch of yarn. So Back to talking about the project before I get to super sidetracked. So I wanted to try the waffle stitch. I'm not going to lie, guys. I haven't done the waffle stitch before. So I pulled out this cotton yarn that I've had in my stash and I practiced that. And then I went yarn shopping, like I said. So this is the yarn that I got for the baby blanket. I ended up 
I'm grabbing five of these. There's one more that I've already worked up. It's all in the same colorway, which I'm going to go into all of that here in just a minute. But I love these colors. So my friend lives in Alaska. She's having a boy and she really likes tie-dye. Sorry about that. She really likes tie-dye. And I don't know, I just felt like this was a very good mixture of blues and greens, which are really good baby colors. And I, I am doing it in, like I said, a, um, a waffle stitch. I haven't gotten very far. I'm working up, here we go. This is the side that I'm on right now. And I think the colors are gonna come out really, really awesome. We will see. I think this is more of like a knit yarn. Um, it is. I'm sure the colors come out way different if we were to work this up in the Addy Knitting Machine, which we are gonna do that. We're gonna make a cardigan out of this stuff in the knitting machine at some point. Um, if you guys haven't done so, check out this video right here in the corner. I actually just recently did a video of an Addy Machine sweatshirt. So go ahead and check that out. But this yarn, it's from Universal Yarns. It's called Major. Um, I actually had done another cardigan with this exact yarn, just a different color. So if I can, I'm gonna try to link that up here as well. Um, but it says knit, rack, knit, relax, um, smile, and repeat. So this is 328 yards. It's a bulky weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. And the colorway of this is called Underwater. So I just love these colors. Honestly, I was looking for a baby blanket pattern and I wasn't really finding, I found one that I really liked. It was a Tunisia knit, but I didn't really want to take on quite a project like that just because the last time I tried Tunisian, it really messed with my wrist and my hands. So I decided that we were going to go with something that was thick um, which is why I went with a five weight yarn. I went with something that was going to be also a thick stitch, which is why I went with the um, waffle stitch. And yeah, I'm going to end up making a tutorial. I think it's going to turn out great. That's the back side of the work. That's the front side of the work. And I will keep you guys kind of updated throughout the process of that. But like I said, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think I should make with these gorgeous yarns. And yes, I'm super excited. I should have my new furls crochet hooks by the time I post my video on Saturday, which is going to be just kind of an update of everything that I've worked on, all my whips and foes crochet projects throughout the week. So make sure to stay tuned. Make sure that you're subscribed so you can get more yarny and crochet goody videos with me over here at Dream 9 Design. I will see you guys all next time. Bye, friends.